Bathing a cat can often seem like a daunting task, considering most felines are not particularly fond of water. However, there are instances where bathing becomes necessary, such as when a cat gets into something sticky or toxic, or for certain medical reasons. Safely bathing your cat requires preparation, patience, and a gentle approach. Here's a comprehensive guide on techniques to make the experience as stress-free as possible for both you and your cat. Preparation is key. Timing, choose a time when your cat is at its calmest. This might be after a meal or after a play session when your cat is likely to be tired and more pliable. Tools and supplies, have everything you need within arm's reach before you start. This includes cat shampoo, never use human shampoo as it can be harmful to their skin, a pitcher or gentle spray hose, a towel, a washcloth, and a non-slip mat for your sink or tub. Water temperature, ensure the water is lukewarm. Cats are sensitive to temperature, and water that is too hot or too cold can be startling or uncomfortable. Environment, use a small, enclosed space such as a bathroom where your cat can't run off easily. Close all doors and windows, and remove any items that could be knocked over or broken. Acclimatizing your cat to water. Gradual introduction, days or even weeks before the bath, help your cat get used to the idea of water by placing them in a dry tub or sink and playing with them there. Gradually introduce a small amount of water so they can experience the sound and feel of it in a controlled, non-threatening way. Positive association, pair the experience with positive reinforcements. Use treats, gentle petting, or their favorite toys to create positive associations with the bath area and equipment. Bathing techniques. Brush first, before bathing, thoroughly brush your cat to remove any loose fur and mats. This will minimize the amount of hair that clogs your drain and helps prevent tangles when wet. Wet the fur gradually, use a cup or a gentle spray nozzle to slowly wet your cat's fur from the neck down. Avoid pouring water directly on the face. Speak to your cat in a calm and reassuring tone throughout the process. Apply shampoo, use a shampoo formulated specifically for cats and apply it gently. Start from the neck and work your way down the body, legs, and tail. Avoid the face, ears, and eyes. Rinsing thoroughly, it is crucial to rinse all the shampoo out of the cat's fur. Soap residue can irritate their skin and may lead to licking and ingesting soap. Face cleaning, never pour water directly on your cat's face. Use a damp washcloth to gently wipe the face. If the ears need cleaning, use a suitable ear cleaner recommended by your veterinarian and apply it with a cotton ball or soft cloth. Drying your cat. Towel dry, wrap your cat in a towel immediately after rinsing. Pat and rub gently to absorb the water. Most cats will tolerate this better than blow drying. If your cat isn't overly anxious, you can use a hair dryer on a low, cool setting, but many cats find the noise frightening. Keep warm, keep your cat in a warm room until completely dry since cats can easily catch a chill when wet, especially in colder climates. Aftercare. Reward. After the bath, give your cat a treat and some extra affection. This helps end the experience positively, making future baths easier on them, and you. Health check, post bath is a good time to check for any irregularities on your cat's skin such as bumps, redness, or parasites that weren't visible under their fur. Conclusion Bathing a cat safely is all about minimizing stress, and ensuring the process is as smooth as possible. With the right preparations, tools, and attitude, bathing your cat doesn't have to be a battle. Remember, each cat is unique and will react differently to being bathed. Understanding your cat's specific limits and comfort levels is crucial, and some may never fully accept a bath, requiring alternative cleaning methods such as cat wipes or dry shampoo. Always consult your veterinarian if you have concerns about bathing your cat or if your cat has skin issues or medical conditions that could affect bathing.